Today I am going to cover three techniques you can use in After Effects to create multicolored text. I will leave the timestamps down below so feel free to jump ahead. Let's get right into it. Okay, I am in my composition and I have a text layer right here ready to go and I've also got a background layer down below. So the first technique that we can use for multicolored text is a gradient ramp. So I'm going to come over to our effects and presets and type in gradient and you can see we've got these two effects come up right here I've got gradient ramp and I've got the four color gradient so we could use either of these uh, let's choose gradient ramp right now and just drop it onto our text here now I could come over to the start color change this to a pink come over here change this to maybe a blue and we've got some nice changes over here we could even change this point and maybe even drag this one over here and you can see we can move it around and we could even animate these properties if we wanted but the problem with this effect though is we can only have two colors uh, so that's fine that's one if we want more colors we could also use the four color gradient so let's select this drop it onto our text and as you might have expected we've got four colors so I might go through and change my colors and just like before we can move our points around and we can even come down here into our text effects we can set some keyframes and animate them if I press play we'll have some movement right here and the other thing we can do is change our colors over time as well and this could certainly work really nicely if this is just the simple effect that you were going for but if you are after a little bit more complexity and detail we've got some other options so with this next technique we are going to um, utilize the after effects text animation tools and we are also going to use the colorama effect so if we come in here go into animate and add a fill color rgb can see uh, the After Effects is going to change the color of our text. We've got the fill down here. We can actually change it. And I'm not really talking about it, but I thought it would be worth mentioning that you can actually, you know, keyframe some colors this way for another um, color to text example. And you can cycle through the text. And if we go into the range selector, you can get some quite uh, interesting effects as well. For example, we can put a keyframe here, start zero, and um, change the end to 100. You can see we've got some interesting animation. However, if we come into advanced, and for example, change this to triangle, I'm gonna change this to maybe minus 50, you know, I'll make this about the same. Um, you can see we've got this very interesting gradient. Uh, so I thought that would be just uh, worth mentioning However, I digress, so I'm going to just delete this and change this fill color to black. Now, I am going to keep these settings uh, because I set this up to kind of demonstrate how Colorama works and we can get a very cool effect from it as well. So if we come over to effects and presets and type in Colorama, I'm going to drop this effect onto our text and you can see we've got some crazy colors happening. Um, I'm gonna come over here, drop down input phase and output cycle. And to be honest, this effect looks a little bit intense. There is a lot going on and I'm actually not gonna delve into it all today. For what we are doing as of now, intensity is gonna work for us. I am gonna drop a little link down below for Adobe's uh, information on this tool because it is very powerful and quite versatile. For the moment though I'm going to come into uh, this preset palette and I'm going to change this to ramp grey and demonstrate what is happening here. So I'm going to turn this off and we can see there is no changes and this is because the way Colorama works is it takes all of the colors in an image, converts it to grayscale and then it maps new colors onto it uh, somewhere around the cycle. So you can see our white is here and our black is here if I come into here for another preset and maybe go ramp red, you can see the lights of this image were uh, now red, the darks have gone down to towards black, and if I come back here again we can see we can use many colours, in fact if I come down into the deep ocean you can see they've just got 
tons of colors around here. So there's no limitations on this, whereas before we were working with two colors and four colors, you can do as many as you want. In fact, you could also, um, you could add one just by clicking here, add a new one, but you can also take them away. Maybe you only want, no, three colors. Maybe you want to change this to pink because I change every color <laughs> color scheme to pink. Whoops. And um, you could actually come in here as well and just change where we are in the phase. So you can see it's just cycling through. And as well as that, you can change, come down to cycle repetitions and change how many times we're going through it. Uh, we've just got, it's just very pretty really. So knowing what we know about this now, now that we've set up a grayscale image through our text tools, we can actually add so much more texture and color to our text if we make our own matte. So I'm going to come into our new example. Okay, so in this example we are going to be making our own matte uh, to use for our colorama effect. If I didn't say it before, a matte is a black and white image. Um, now this can be literally anything that you want, um, but for this example I will come up to the top, go layer, new solid, and I'm going to type in white background, and I want this to be white, I'm going to press OK, and then I'm going to come over to my shape tool and I'm going to make sure that it is the ellipse and I'm just going to draw out like 10 circles. Uh, make sure that you are not on your background otherwise it will mask so you can see this little star here next to my cursor that is good. So I'm going to draw 10 circles ish. Right, I'm going to name this uh, shapes <laughs> because it is a shape layer. Um, then I'm going to come into effects and presets and I want to grab a turbulent displace, drag this onto our shape layer. Um, and I'm just going to do this to, you know, make it a little bit less circle-like. 92 is fine. I'm going to drag this all the way up to 1000. And this looks fine to me, but if I play it through, we can see that there's no movement. So I want to add a little expression over here. I'm going to hold down Alt on the stopwatch next to Evolution. Try that one more time. So this box shows up, and in this box I'm just going to type Time times 100 and click out of it. Now when I play through uh, you can see that I've got some pretty interesting animation going. Now don't forget I have just chosen this effect and literally dropped it on. Uh, we can change to different ones and you can get entirely different looks. Please play around because you're going to get some really cool stuff. Um, I quite like this one and I think I'm going to stick with it. Now don't forget that with our colorama it was mapping colors all the way around the grayscale. So to get lots of colors onto our image we actually want lots of gray. This is just black and white. So basically if we put this into our colorama right now, in fact let's do that, we would only get two colors popping up. And that's not really what we're looking for here. So this is actually um, only color the circles because Currently, it's just black on this layer, uh, but that's not really what I'm looking for right now. So I'm going to come over to effects and presets and type in Gaussian blur. Go ahead and grab this effect and drop it onto our shape layer. And I'm going to bring this uh, blurriness all the way up to, I don't know, maybe 200. Maybe not quite. Yeah, that looks good. So now if I, um, you can see we've got a lot of greys. Um, if it's not even showing up for you, you might want to add a levels effect um, to just adjust it slightly as well. You know, you can make it a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. So that's going to work just fine. Um, so we want to uh, grab our two images because like we just seen before when I added that colorama, these uh, are separate and we need them to be together for it to be a whole image. So I'm going to select them both right click and click pre-compose, just name this, move all attributes and press OK and we have a full mat. Now come over to our track mat and select our text and we can see we have our text with our mat uh, image, our black and white image shining through. So now all we want to do here is add a colorama. 
and go ahead and drop our color rubber on and we have our colors so I'm gonna come in here maybe get rid of this blue change our pink to something a little bit more subtle get rid of the red come and animate our phase shift and a keyframe and that is our matte completed. Now, honestly, you can create so much with this. If I jump over here, I have made a huge example and I've tried to make as many different textures in a tiny amount of time. So some of it does look a little bit rushed, but you can see we've got lines, we've got shapes, uh, checkerboard, circles it all looks a little bit psychedelic as well with the movement but you know you could go completely subtle if you wanted to if you found this video useful leaving a like will let me know that i am on the right track and if you want to see more of this type of content make sure to click right here because this is the video youtube thinks that you should watch next i'll see you in the next one bye